Hey Curious, and welcome back to our channel. It seems that more and more people are talking about the crown, which in turn is giving us something else to talk about with the relation to the British crown, and that has once again raised more and more questions and opinions about at times the controversial family. Though now, the one who could be most impacted by it is none other than Prince Charles. But what has this series done that could affect the popularity of the prince? Has this show shown him as a victim of an unhappy marriage? Or has it done the opposite and has portrayed him as a villain? Why don't you stay with me to find out? But before we continue, don't forget to turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Let's start with a reminder of that iconic interview that Princess Diana gave to the BBC in 1995. In short, at the height of the drama with regards to her husband's infidelity, the princess's relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles, she had revealed that she and Charles had separated. Speaking with journalist Martin Bashir, Lady Di explained everything that happened in her life before, during, and after her marriage to the Queen's son. Her own infidelities, her role as a mother, and her role in the royal crown. The isolation which she was subjected to, her eating disorders, and without any concealment, she admitted to her relationship with the captain of cavalry, James Hewitt, and thus attacking the British royal family and provoking a great scandal. Some of the prince's closest confidants have accused Netflix and the producers of the crown of exploiting the pain of the royal family for financial gain and were furious that fiction is presented as fact in its twisted version of events. Even the princes had shown their displeasure about the series, and if you want to know more about what Prince Harry and Prince William think of the show, then be sure to check out our previous video, the link to which is displayed above. There is no doubt that when a television show is undisputedly good, everyone wants to see it, even if you're part of the royalty and the topic of the program is your own family. The official version is that the British royal has not seen and will not see the popular Netflix show. The Crown, which documents the reign of Elizabeth II, perhaps they cannot just express their point of view on the topic without the fear of sounding too biased. The stormy relationship between Prince Charles and Diana Spencer is one of the main, if not the main, themes of that fourth season of the series that deals with it extensively, and some scenes show, in great detail, Lady Di's struggles with eating disorders and emotional effects, the illness it has on people. A source has revealed that this was one of the things that greatly irritated Prince William. As we've mentioned before, the fourth season covers Charles' doomed marriage to Princess Diana, her eating disorders, and his affair with Camilla Parker Bowles. Because of his position as heir to the throne, he cannot be with the woman he loves and is essentially forced to stay lovelessly with a teenage girl, Diana Spencer, who he has only met a handful of times and who outshined him at every public event. In the show, Camilla is played by Emerald Fennel and Diana by Emma Corrin. Though, back to the plot. Trapped, unhappy, and unable to escape what seems as an abomination of an arranged marriage, Charles, who's portrayed by Josh O'Connor, spends his time on the screen sulking, feeling sorry for himself, and then finally end up lashing out at his beautiful young wife. And the latter is a portrayal of an insensitive and selfish Charles who ends up meeting and marrying an innocent Diana while continuing to maintain an affair with his then-married Camilla, all of which has provoked so much anger within him. In this case, some argue that the show is dragging up things that happened in very difficult times 25 to 30 years ago without thinking to anyone's feelings, though these things get constantly brought up in various different contexts. The fourth season of this unsuccessful drama covers the years from Lord Mountbatten's past in 1979 to the end of Margaret Thatcher's reign as Prime Minister in 1990. Speaking with the Daily Mail, a palace source has spoke about the dramatization of the historical events. They said the new series paints the prince and the duchess in a very unflattering light, but at least the start of the reality show, like The Only Way is Essex, they admit that some scenes have been invented for entertainment. Some British commentators and royal analysts have aligned themselves with Prince Charles' friends to criticize the series. Ingrid Seward has has called it quite inaccurate, and Dickie Arbiter commented on how several scenes depicted never even occurred, and Sally Bedell Smith has assessed that the level of invention has been growing in the series. Others praise the show, like Paul Burrell, who has said that it is a fair and accurate dramatization of what happened. The series has depicted the future king of the United Kingdom as tough, critical, and very often resentful of Diana's worldwide popularity. In particular, it was his long-standing relationship with Camilla, who he had dated in 1971, and with whom he had a close friendship that proved to be the breaking point. 
And also, to go back to Diana's aforementioned interview with the BBC, she herself made it very clear that there were three of them in that marriage. Looking at how the show has portrayed things, it can also be said that Prince Charles is also a victim of this marriage since he has always been in love with Camilla. However, the viewers are not entirely sympathetic to this fact. Do you think that it could have had a serious impact on his image? Or that people might see it differently? The series shows things that could have happened, but in reality, no one, except Diana, and that was only her point of view, has expressed themselves about the whole drama. So could it be that this has made the other side of the coin be lost by not telling their point of view? Let's take a closer look at the love story between Prince Charles and his wife Camilla, as it has been reported that their love story can be traced back to a sporting event in 1970 and from there on, their two fell in love. They started dating, but their romance was brief as the prince was forced to do military service in another country. They remained friends, however, she later married Andrew Parker Bowles and the couple had two children. Though Prince Charles was never too far away from her, even in 1975, he was named as the godfather to her son Tom. They were separated for a while when the prince met Lady Di and ended up marrying her in July of 1981. And during his time, the two went through some difficult times in their marriage and it was then that the rumors and suspicions of secret affairs came out. In 1995, Parker Bowles decided to divorce her then husband and there is a speculation in the media that this led to the queen's son decision to leave Diana. As for the eternal heir to the throne, it is nothing new when I tell you that it is taken him and his wife Camilla literally decades to try and repair their image. The couple eventually got married in 2005, just over 30 years after they initially started dating. Though, wouldn't you agree, Curious, that it must have been frustrating to not be able to marry the love of your life because of social pressures and status? And this whole series of events because of the show, which is gaining more and more popularity, not just in the United Kingdom, could it potentially be a great risk to the couple? And this assumption comes after a trolling campaign has been provoked online against the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall. This all happened after the show portrayed their relationship during the marriage to late Princess Diana. The popularity of the show has greatly contributed to the resurgence of the support of late Diana, who passed away in 1997, and it also added to the scrutiny of Charles and Camilla. Those internet trolls had made their way to Instagram accounts of Clarence House and under posts that it featured the Duchess, countless comments had been made saying that Diana is the only princess they recognize, and many comments such as Diana Forever or simply her name followed by a heart emoji had appeared. It should be remembered that a recent popularity survey revealed that the most beloved members of the British royal family were Prince Harry and Queen Elizabeth II in that order. Prince Charles ranks seventh, well behind them, and a majority of the people seem to prefer William and Kate over Charles and Camilla. Although, we all know the discomfort that Princess Diana had felt with Charles. In short, she was an outsider in Charles's family who did not sympathize with her. Well, maybe except Prince Philip, and if you want to know more about why that is, then check out our previous video to which the link is displayed above. There were also constant bad situations around her marriage, the infidelities, it surely made her feel vulnerable, and not to mention her eating disorder as well as the repeated occasions where she wanted to take her own life. This also caused her to seek refuge in other people. On the other hand though, the heir to the throne is also carrying the burden of the responsibility for the situation since to this day he continues to live with the consequences of what has always seemed to be an open secret. And what a coincidence it is that now the heir to the throne needs more of his good reputation than ever. It appears that people online Line have given their unconditional support to the late Lady Di. Is the series changing your opinion of the prince, or are you indifferent? So curious, what do you think about the life of the future King of England? What will happen to his popularity? Will it continue to decline, or do you think he deserves a second chance? How would you feel if you weren't able to be with the love of your life? And let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.